I think you could download the blueprints of the White House. What's going on, dude? You got a map back there? Yeah, that's my map that I'm using for um <clears throat> for planning. I'm planning <laughs> something big. The blood of the opponents. And when I say big, I mean government level big. <laughs> I'm talking about Israel level big. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> they would like to try to stretch this out or ever have UBI, have people working from home, have this is the new normal. The instinct is to fight back against that. Don't step on the snake guys are going to come in the truck and they're going to take the masks off. This is going to be around for a minute, dude. It works. It does well. Yeah. The phone literally is the devil. Dude, old people don't know how to work their phones either. So they get a phone from the store and all the factory settings are like maximum notifications. So if you're like, <laughs> yeah. you're My dad gets ESPN notifications <laughs> all hours of the night, <laughs> like midnight. I think it's only going downhill from here. I think it's just going to be worse in 20 years. Really? Dude, you weren't rolling yet? No, no but we, we can get watch that, I want to get that joke in. Are you, are you rolling now? Yes, I'm rolling. All right, now <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pretend like I just said that joke. Hey, do you guys mind if I watch Cuties on my phone while we record this? <laughs> <laughs> we assumed you were watching it. We're all watching Cuties 24-7 okay, cool. while we do everything. Did you, actually, now, did you actually watch it? I watched it so I could fast forward. I wanted to see what the... I skimmed it. Yeah, I skimmed it too. And dude, did you skim to the twerk scene? Yeah, it's insane <laughs> it's like really weird i was like maybe people are overreacting no dude that's actually weird i'm so happy you're on you have no well, I, you. I told you I've, I've been a fan since my friend burke did that episode with you guys oh yeah old burke like how old was that that was like 2011 that's well mad long time ago that was very yeah. long time ago tissue box you seen tissue box the dude that is wearing a speedo that's uh, our mutual friend burke yeah Burke, dude, he's yeah. the best. Shane showed me Million Dollar Stream, and I remember just being like, this is ahead of his time, dude. This is too early. Well, thank you very much. Too Thanks early, a lot, dude. man. Everybody in the yeah. scene f with you. The whole yeah, scene. scene. <laughs> the whole <laughs> scene f with you, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah. That has to be said. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we're being real, I think there's a lot of people in the scene that don't f with me. Yeah, me too. Yeah. A lot of people <laughs> in the scene don't like me anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They like you until you get it's canceled. Actually, the it's actually kind of the opposite. Many people in the scene don't like us. Well, so that's, true. that's yeah. why you train <laughs> martial arts. That's why you train you martial the, arts. Exactly. Yeah. Wait till you see one of these reporters and you assault them. Axe kick. <laughs> you <laughs> hit him with a flying knee. <laughs> actually, Your Honor, it was a, uh, it was a flying knee, which um, <laughs> is not a hard tech. It's not even – I wouldn't even call it a sh uh, assault. It's more of a <laughs> – an opinion. It's a, a physicalized opinion. But yeah, it's all that can be happening. Oh. It's all that can happen right now, dude. It's just to take take a minute, <coughs> let the dust settle, train, and then come back out yeah. against the haters and just start. Pop, pop, pop. What'd you say? What I, know, I saw dude. that article. I saw your blog. You just gotta get yoked and then dude. come back, dude. Yeah, Mel well, Gibson. Every, <laughs> now, I mean, it's 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 applicable to everybody. You don't just have to be canceled because this this lockdown stuff is so annoying and that you have to. Uh, you have to do something. And I think I'm in, I'm in much better physical shape than I've ever been in just because I know, knowing that like gyms are closed and like going outside is mad annoying. It's given me the choice of either like getting fatter or doing the, doing the opposite. You know what I mean? And I think that um, probably, probably everybody should be doing that. You got to figure out some way. Cause I don't think this is a, uh, I think they're going to, they would like to try to stretch this out <clears throat> forever you know, have, have UBI, have people working from home, have this is the new normal. As much as you want to, the instinct is to fight back against that. Don't step on the snake guys are going to come in the truck and we're going to get, they're going to get back, they're going to take the masks off and uh, Trump is going to make everybody uh, throw the masks away. Well, it's like, <clears throat> it might, might not happen. Like, you know, it might be, might be another 10 years of you, uh, the only workout you can get is on the Nordic track. So I think people yeah. got to start, you got to work out this is going to be around for a minute dude it mm. works it does well you're right so yeah, all you can do sells. is get jacked all you can do is get jacked and try to get a couple bucks then just get a little compound and chill that's the plan go around sucker punching people exactly once you got the compound set and you get yep. your money right go to jail for assault work hard for 20 years and then assault a guy you guys gotta just got to try your best and then uh, go to jail here's a fun story we were hanging out out back and and sam's and uh some canvassers came by, and I got to watch Sam go into fucking war mode, dude. They were there for some local political thing, so I didn't, I didn't pay it any mind, but I wanted to make sure that they weren't doing some Planned Parenthood or some... Yeah, he started chirping immediately. I wanted to see what they were up to. <laughs> what if I it was, was praying? I, what I if it was Planned Parenthood? What do you... What, uh, 
What do you think you'd do? I'd probably get into a 45 minute long discussion with them. About <laughs> yeah, that. I was like, I was so excited. <laughs> probably try, try to mentally torture them for uh, as, long as, <laughs> as long as possible. Yeah, dude, I was sitting there. It was, it was amazing. It was like watching a dog start barking. <laughs> it was nice, dude. He was on one side of the fence, like, "Yo, who are you guys? What are you?" And I was just like, "Yes, dude." Don't you know there's a deaf person in this neighborhood? <laughs> You're walking around all loud. Well, let me educate you for a minute, okay? Do you know the plight of the deaf black man in America? No, you don't. I had a lady come up to my door the other day, and she was like, "Um, we it says here on our recent records that you voted last year, and we're making sure you're voting again." I'm like, "I've actually never voted in my life." And, you got to uh, punish uh, those people. You got to yeah. teach them a lesson. I've been calling out census workers. I've been seeing these census, census guys walking around. There was one census guy. He was like a white guy, and he was like my age, like th uh, 30s white guy. No, no business going around making uh, minimum wage, ask, asking people, do you live here? Do you know who lives here? Do you still? Like, can you imagine working that job as a normal dude at age uh, 35 or whatever? So I just got my girlfriend was not happy with me because I, I took a little detour to, to uh, follow this guy and circle back a few <laughs> yeah. times and yell out, uh, get, get a real job. Yeah, it's a real bummer for that census worker that he ran into the, the buzzsaw, dude, just some well, maniac in a truck driving around. <laughs> well, think about it. Maybe now he'll, he'll get his life together. I mean, yeah, you probably did him a favor. I agree. I hope so. I hope so. Well, does he think that's like an important task to go around and counting people? I don't know. Why is that like a, does he think that's like a civic virtue kind of thing? I think he was just doing it because his life was so f***ed up. That's the only thing he could get to get to do. True. He needed but, a good uh, kick in the ass. It's, uh, it's inexcusable. What's going on? Do you got a map back there? I've been, uh, yeah, that's my map that I'm using for, um, <clears throat> for planning. I'll let you, you'll, you'll see what it's for. I'm planning right. something big, though. Let's just say really? that. Shut the fuck. You'll see, don't get us demonetized. Shame. I'm planning <laughs> something big. When I say big, I mean government level big. <laughs> I'm talking about specifically about Israel level bit. No, <laughs> that was yeah. so funny, Shane. I know you're calming down now so your career can get going, but I loved when you came to the meeting with our friends. <laughs> <laughs> I speak in code, though. You know me. Like, I, I never say anything outright. I never say something. I'd never say something crazy. But I'll say that we're planning an attack. I've changed, dude. <laughs> now I only support cuties. In Hollywood, you got to go along, go along to get along. So sometimes you got to watch 11-year-olds twerk. That's how it is. <laughs> what is that? I can't, I can't tell you about that. You know, you know what it is. I can't, I know, everybody, I can't tell everybody else. Oh, okay. okay. You okay, and I okay, know okay. what that is. All right. That's our map. That's Actually, do I know what that is? No, that's uh, this. The map is a, a map of the video game that I'm working on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah. That, then that is what it is. Yeah. Nice. I was making another terrorism joke. <laughs> I knew you were. I knew you were. But then I was afraid. I was afraid you were talking about the video game that you didn't want to talk about. Oh, no, that's, we can talk. That, I mean, that's not, that's not under wraps or anything. That's indeed what it is. It's just sci fi. It's just a sci fi video game. That's awesome. Um, it's not it's probably not super interesting to delve into a delve into it on a podcast <clears throat> but uh it's it's what i'm uh it's my holy grail project that uh gonna be gonna be working on for 10 years here biggest piece of advice that i've heard over and over is keep it small and uh ambition <clears throat> ambition kills projects and this is the most ambitious uh not not small project so um we'll see maybe it'll be a uh total disaster but um it is what i'm going to be working on for for 10 years if it's a disaster we'll take it me and matt will take you out to the range yeah let's do that. <laughs> let's <laughs> do that. if this thing flops as bad as i think it might we'll yeah. take you out get some guns go to the range that might be where that might be the only place left for cowboys like us dude. we might have to just meet in the video game realm mm. only safe space keep it digital keep it extremely digital dude exactly no i've i've suspected that for a long time that the only the only way out of this nightmare is uh through computer games so i'm glad you backed me up on that yeah we gotta fade into the ones and zeros dude yeah 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 <laughs> i think you could download the blueprints of the white house that's a good question no. do you think they'd flag it if you start like no i just want to know the prints i want to know where the ducks are i'm sure they would. yeah i just want to know where the ducks are <laughs> i'm like a duct guy like historical <laughs> buildings like i want to know how the hvac systems work in these historical buildings <laughs> And the, te and the telecom system. Where's the router? <laughs> I always wonder if you can actually oh, crawl through the ducts like that. 
probably i've seen people i've seen movies where they do it so it's got to be real that's true it'd be, so, it'd be Man, funny I, if someone tried that in real life and there's just like gigantic fans in there that just chop you to bits mm. yeah you can't zappers. go into a duct you probably be, a lot I, of dead guys and ducks who tried to crawl and didn't make a lot it. of guys who saw die hard if you have kids you cannot let them have a phone that is the most that's no. like the devil it's the phone crazy. is the devil yeah, the phone literally is the devil. Actually, you know what? The one scene I saw in Cuties outside of the hot ass twerking was uh, the girl posted a picture of herself on Instagram and she got a like and she was like, she got a like from one of the other kids at school and was mm. like elated, like mm-hmm. almost crying, happy. And so I was like, like real it, life. that fucked me up. Yeah. I can't even imagine the pressure of a kid in school. In any event, you got to get these phones away from people. It's crazy. It's uh really bad it'll be like cigarettes it'll be like cigarettes in like 20 yeah. years they'll be like you had those things i'm like yeah we all had them it was, it was fine i think it's only going downhill from here i think it's just gonna be worse in 20 years really i think, think people so, are yeah. just gonna get deeper into their phone and all the bull yeah i mean i haven't seen any kind of like mainstream uh backlash against uh social media or phones i mean there's there's a few things here or there like a few you know the net the documentary <clears> with <throat> the facebook engineer talking about the like button and all that stuff but there's nobody like uh there's there's no mainstream backlash even brewing against um, social media and, and phone usage. Yeah, there's no Philip Morris for that yet. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I was I was out like in that fucking hot tub yesterday, and I was like, the f- this is boring because <laughs> I wasn't staring at a phone. I was just looking, dude. I was like looking. I was like looking at the stars in Arizona underneath like a palm tree, and I was like. Psh- this, this sucks. Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I should be looking at people I don't like. I should be getting mad about some MMA fighter. I should be, I should be always mad. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, old people don't know how to work their phones either. So they get a phone from the store and all the factory settings are like maximum notifications. So if you're, like, <laughs> you're, just old, you're out mowing your lawn, it bumps, and you're like, someone said something about Trump, and you're like, mother. <laughs> you yeah, my dad, my dad gets ESPN notifications. So nice. it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> just all hours of the night, <laughs> like midnight. Oh, and it's about God. like some free agent going to the trailblazers. It's like, <laughs> just in the kitchen. <laughs> you need to know about this, Phil. If my mom doesn't know how to turn those off. So she'll mm-hmm. just get blasted all day long with like Fox. <laughs> yeah, Fox, Fox. Freak the <laughs> out. Yeah, yeah. He was spazzing yeah, on they, me about some. I went over there for dinner. My mom was like bugging out about something about Biden. She was like trying to convince my brother's kid to like, she was like, who are you going to vote for? You're going to vote for, you're going to vote for not Biden. Right. And I was like, dude, will you guys can stop with it. Turn it Yo, off, I had a, knock it off. Dude, I had a kid come up to me after my show on Sunday. He was 21. I asked him cause it was so funny. He was like, are you actually uh, not going to vote? And I was like, yeah, probably. And he was like, you'll come around. You'll vote for Trump. I know you will. Yes. I was like, sick, dude. <laughs> I was like, how old are you? And he was like, 21. And I just started dying laughing. I was like, you f-ing idiot. <laughs> kid was great. Kid ruled. The kid was great. But it was funny yeah. for a 21 year old like college student to walk up to yeah. me and be like, you'll come around. Don't worry. Yeah. I was like, all right, man. Oh, I was thinking about the lady. There's one lady in my neighborhood that got hit with the CNN bug. She's Ooh. a geese. She's got a f-ing hate, has no home here. Nice. Yeah, there's it's a lot sign of in her front me. yard. There's a lot of those signs that say uh in this house we believe in science like the, you know you know the rainbow one that's like the 10, 10 different things in, in this house we believe black lives matter women's rights are human rights no human is illegal science is real <clears throat> love is love kindness is everything okay i guess you guys can claim all that at once yeah oh, i don't know if you needed to let anybody know Oh, there's another one that says water. There's another one that we added on. Water is life. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. <laughs> I want to make one that it's like identical, but at the end it says uh, <laughs> Kung Fu is the only real martial art. <laughs> Just some, some total non sequitur. Like Ford is the best Damn. automaker, U.S. automaker. <laughs> Look, this is, I'm going to derail this because that was funny. But yeah. water is life. It reminded me of the first time I saw Jewish people. Uh-huh. I was at Hershey Park yeah, and a, bu- a bunch of Orthodox Jews. So they were in the full unis, went on a water ride. It was called Tidal Force. It was just, mm-hmm. it just dropped you straight down and you got hit with a thing of water. But there was like, they were all in this one boat. There was like 20 of them. They're and in the ark. <laughs> they were in the ark. <laughs> and they all started, 
they started chanting, water is wet. It was the first interaction I've ever had with Jews. And they were all in the boat, all in uniform going, water is wet. Water is. And I was just like, damn, Jews rule. Damn, <laughs> that was That's, the first interaction. This water sounds is like wet. another one of your anti-Semitic stories, man. <laughs> no, it's not. It's pro-Semitic. This, is, this sounds like one of those stories you use to justify your little bombing plan that you keep bringing up to me. <laughs> I can't, dude, I can't the get with this. The water is wet. <laughs> the water is wet. It was just guys having fun. It was just a bunch of dudes having fun. But I remember cool. then we had a basketball game. We had a summer league game that night. And me and yeah. my friends did not stop chanting, water is wet. So what do you guys think of that? Pretty good. Hey, man, you got to get amped up. That's like the um, the Maori uh, Kiru dance they do before rugby games, yeah. you know. You got to get amped. It doesn't matter. You got to get amped up. You say whatever. Yeah. 